Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's lesson, we'll start to learn how to install SQL accounting system. But before that, please do two pre-settings for the system. How to do that? First of all, you need to go to Control Panel. Go to your Start, Control Panel. Go to Clock, Language and Region. Go to Region. Based on different windows, you might have different way of access, but your objective is to reach this place, the region, where you can actually change the format from English United States or English Malaysia to English United Kingdom. This is because of the date format. So you can see that for English UK, the date format will be day month year. If you do not do this, sometimes when you view certain report in SQL such as PNL, you may encounter error message. So please try to do this. Second, you need to click on the additional settings, go to currency, and you can see the currency symbol now is in pound dollar sign. So what you need to do is click on the space bar to empty the currency symbol because in SQL, we have already default all the currency in ringgit relation. So click on OK. Now, we are ready to do installation. Because of the version upgrade is too frequent. Nowadays, software consultant will no longer give you installation CD. Normally, we'll email the installation file to you. It looks something like this. This is for SQL accounting setup version 722. So what you need to do is just simply double click on the installation file, click on next, click on I accept the agreement, click next, and you can see the installation path by default is installed inside program file. Please try not to do this. Remove the program file portion. This is because sometimes the program file may block certain service for SQL. So to be secure, directly install in C semicolon slash eStream slash SQL accounting. Then we click on next. And you can see that all these three folders will be also installed in C stream SQL accounting. Bin is your program folder, share is a network setting folder, database folder will be all your database located. Then click on next, and click on next, and click on install. So this is how the installation will begin. And after the installation is finished, then you'll be prompt with this screen. You just need to click on the finish button. So now you have two options. The first option evaluation normally will do this for installation of server and also a standalone installation. We actually will create a sample database. For the second custom setting, we will choose this when we try to install SQL for client PC in a network environment. So we will choose evaluation. It will take a bit of time because the system actually will install or create a sample database with all the sample for customer, chart of account, supplier, stock, and also will create sample data for all the transaction, sales invoice, purchase invoice, credit note, debit note, payment voucher, official receipt, and so on. So please be patient. And sometimes your hardware spec will also will have influence to the speed for this installations or creation of the sample database. So let's wait for a while. You can see that it's actually creating all the transaction now. So after the creation, you'll be landed on the default screen of SQL accounting system. It will look something like this. So now, you have successfully installed SQL accounting system and you can see that when you go out you can see that there's one shortcut have been created for you now next time when you try to log in just use this shortcut so that's all for today and do drop by at my facebook at facebook.com slash syntax technologies to help me to like my page and you can find the latest information regarding GST, regarding SQL accounting system over here. And if you want to view 
my previous tutorial video, you can always go to my website www.syntech.com.my and click on YouTube and you will have all the tutorial inside here. So thanks for your time and once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.